but i just thought i would let you know to go and grab a cup of tea biscuit get your cozies on because i feel like this is going to be a long video today um and yeah i hope you enjoy obviously so you'll see this in november but i'm actually filming this on the 24th of october her birthday but i wanted all the halloween content to go first and then show this so it's a bit separate so that's the plan of action and that's why i've still got my halloween mug because we are still in halloween currently when i'm filming this video so yeah get your cozies get your hot drinks get all comfy and i hope you like it hello everybody welcome back to another one of my videos um today i don't really know what i'm going to be doing with this video i feel like it's going to be a bit of a vlog a bit of a get ready with me a bit of everything really vlog slash get ready with me might be a longer video this one excuse the way i look right now because i have just woken up and it is currently eight o'clock on a saturday morning so yeah we're gonna celebrate my sister's 21st birthday today so i thought i could bring you guys along with me and yeah hope you enjoy obviously we can't do much because of the whole lockdown and coronavirus situation but we're gonna do the best we can positive minds positive vibes you know so that's the plan of action for today i'm gonna oh if you want to know what fake catan i use just as a little heads up i use the bondi sands or bondi sands I call it Bondi, Bondi Sands, and I use an ultra dark. So this is what it looks like before washing it off in the shower. Obviously, once I don't, I don't fake tan my face. That's why my face is a bit pale on the pale side. But yeah, I've just literally made my bed. I woke up a bit with a sore eye this morning, so I'm hoping that doesn't turn into anything worse and what it is like this will all come off and i should have a nice fake tan fingers crossed but anyway enough rambling let's get into the video so before i go in the shower and stuff i just thought i'd show you the extensions that i will be wearing today um because it's one of them glam yourself up kind of days I think I'm going to put in my clipping hair extensions. So these are what they look like. Obviously they have different colours, but obviously I'm blonde. And I think these are the 18 inch. All we do is just clip them in. These are by Bellamy. I have used Foxy Locks before as well. They're really good if you're looking to buy some clipping hair extensions. So before I shower, I'm just going to go ahead and brush these out. So they're ready and i don't know whether to keep them waved i don't know i don't know the vibe the thing is the restaurant we're going to i don't know if you any of you have heard of it it's called smith and western um so the theme for this was going to be cowboys like cowboy theme um however I have nothing cowboy-y at all. So my mum's brought some hats so we can wear at the restaurant. So I'm feeling like going a bit bougie rather than country and western-y. But we'll see, I have no idea what I'm wearing. I have tried on several outfits throughout this week and I still don't know. So keep your eye out for what I decide to wear. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you my extensions because I will be wearing them in this video. My hands look so dark. Oh my God, look. This will look lighter, I hope. I hope this will look lighter, but it should look lighter. I, I use Bondi Sands Ultra a lot, so yeah. Anyway, it's not rambling. I'm gonna go and have a shower. Thank you. 
This is Nala right now, in the bag. Nala, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? She's got her crazy eyes out. Hey, <laughs> you didn't get me, you didn't get me. So I've just got out of the shower, so I'm gonna start getting ready. Um, I'm gonna be using the Guerlain Abel Royal um, serum. I always use this in the day. This has lasted me all year and I've still got this much left. I don't know if you can see. And I use this every single day. Yes, this is very expensive, but I highly recommend this. I do get a discount from work. That's why I also buy it. But this is amazing. I absolutely love this product by Guerlain. Um, their skincare is on point. So I put a few pumps of this in my hand and then I just put this in around my face. I still haven't managed to get a good eye cream, which I do really need. Um, so if you guys know of anyone that has a good eye cream, let me know. It can be drugstore, it can be high end, as long as they're good and they work. Like, I really need one. And if you're also wondering why my eyes are bloodshot, is because I got soap in them from my shower. And they normally go like this after I've had my shower, so yeah. And then I'm also, so I only use two products in the morning. And then I go on to my Aveeno. Um, so yeah, this is what I do. If you hear rustling, I, I've put a clip in, but Nala is like playing with her little like plastic bag. I got it from B&M. They do like a Garfield range for cats and it's really good. Like my cats love it. I've got them a box as well. But they haven't really used the bag because this morning she's just decided to play with the bag, which is a good thing. Um, yeah. I then like to always, always, I then like to also moisturize my body. I don't know if you've seen a recurring theme, but I love Avino, especially with my skin type because I get um, eczema. So Aveeno is really good and it doesn't have any like harsh ingredients in. So I can't use like Dove Nivea because it just flares my skin with eczema. So if you got eczema guys, Aveeno is a really good product and their brand ambassador is the one and only Jennifer Aniston. So yeah, I like this product because it's easy. You can just spray on your moisturizer the towels are coming off guys and the headband is going on because the towel just keeps falling off. I really want to get them, um, you know them like sliding clips that all everyone has. Yeah, I really want to get them sliding clips that everyone has. I'm going to put some product in my hair to make it all soft. So I'm going to be using the hair growth leave-in treatment by Lee Stafford. So all I do is just Spritz this at the ends of my hair. This smells amazing. If you heard of Lee Stafford and you want your hair to grow, this stuff is really good. Highly recommend. And then with my new super drug brush, I'm just gonna brush it out. Actually, we're gonna take this off. I'm gonna brush it out. I look a bit more norm, you know? I look a bit more normal, guys. I'm actually really excited for today. It's a bit bad, though. It's probably like quarter past nine now. But I really want to start drinking <laughs> and get into it, you know? But I'm not. I'm not going to stop just yet. We're going we're gonna to give it gonna give it a bit of time i think it's because it's i'm getting ready and i haven't got ready in ages like properly properly get ready since my birthday weekend um 
because obviously we can't really go out out at the minute guys you know because of all these things going on in the world but yeah i'm looking forward today to getting dressed up and kind of pretending we're back to normal-ish even though we're not i must remember to take my mask because that is essential in this day and age. So yeah, I've just brushed that through. And then I'm gonna also put some heat treatment on. This is Professional Andrew Barton, the ultimate blonde heat protection. I actually got this in a Christmas set. There we go. Did not work. And this just smells really fresh. And I just like to put that in a lot on the ends to, you know, protect your hair. Also, if you're wanting to grow your hair, I defo recommend the vitamins, the hair vitamins that you get, um, the gummy ones. I can't remember who they're by, but you know the ones I mean, gals, you know. The ones that everyone raves about, they're actually quite good. I always forget to take them, but I do have them now and again, and it does make a difference to your hair. So that is that. My hair is to be fair quite long at the minute, and I'm actually loving it. I'm quite impressed with myself for wearing it this long, because if you've known me for a while, I used to wear clipping hair extensions all the time, and my hair was damaged it's now at a good point in its hair lifestyle so yeah anyway stop thy rambling and get on with my makeup christina the trusty rimmel concealer is up first i don't know what to do with my eyes today because normally i do like a nudie color and I think I'm gonna be wearing nude. So I don't want it to be too harsh on my eyes. What do I? I might do. Um, we'll see. So I feel like your eyes are your staple piece on your face when you're going out. So I'm just putting this under my eyes as you can see any blemishes i don't know what's going on with my eyes today it's a bit sore um this one so i'm hoping it's nothing serious like because i get shingles as well i'm hoping it's not that you'll soon find out because i'm literally filming today tomorrow and monday for you guys and if I have a swollen eye in any of them videos, that is why. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just putting this all over my spots, basically, which I don't actually have, touch wood, too many of them. And they're always on this part of my face, round me chin. Um, now I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender and just tap this out, like so. Beauty blended out. Then I'm going to go in with my favourite, favourite, favourite foundation. And this really works for me. Don't you find it weird? that certain foundations work for certain people and other foundations don't so like i or obsessed with this bare minerals product um it works for me it's a tinted gel cream looks like this i'm going to use the shade natural today normally i use a lighter shade but because i was like what is that it's nala rustling in her bag um yeah so i love this i've actually bought a new one for the purpose of my fake tan life 
So I don't fake tan all the time, guys. I only fake tan when I'm going out. So today I thought was the perfect day to fake tan. I just hate fake tan when it comes off. I don't know how people get it to come off easily. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm talking about this. Changing the subject again, just rambling on. The Tinted Hydrated Gel Cream Complexion Rescue. This is my ultimate favorite foundation base. I use this as a base and then I'll use this little bad boy. So Bare Minerals is a good, like if you're just starting out with makeup and you don't know what to use, highly recommend Bare Minerals and it will last you a lifetime. So I'm just gonna go in with this Bare Minerals smoothing face brush and I've pumped it on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna put a bit there. And we're just gonna brush that out, you know? So it looks nice and even. Do you know what I found as well? Using a brush, you don't waste as much product as a beauty blender. On a beauty blender, you like the blender kind of soaks up the product. Whereas on a brush, you I feel like you get more out of the product. Like it goes around your face a bit more. Um, just a little tip guys. If you're running low on your foundation, change from a blender to a beauty brush. Put that all over my face like so. And then I always bring my foundation down my neck just to make sure it definitely all matches. So, so that looks pretty even to me. See, I just love it. I just think it makes you look so awake or like, so awake and so dewy. Then I'm using this, oh, this one's in Fair. So this is also a foundation, but I use it as a powder on top just to make sure it all sets together. Um, and then I'll use this with their Kabuki brush, which does actually need a clean. And I'll just dab this bit on here. And I find it makes your skin look flawless. If you do have any like blemishes you want to hide, this is a fantastic product so yeah the only thing is this eye is very sore and you can see it anyway <laughs> i love it look how look at my skin there's a couple of spots here that you, you can't really see them. Can you guys? Not really. Um, so that is my face face. I don't know what the hell is up with Nala this morning. I don't know what's in her dry food, but she's going mental. She's going cuckoo in the other room. So I'm now using the foundation contour stick i'm just gonna put this on a bit brush um this is from primark i just spoke about it in my first impression absolutely love it i'm just gonna blend this out to give my face a bit of dimension And then 
I'll just put a bit under here. If you've got double chin, guys, this kind of makes your face look like you don't. If you want to hide those chins, you've got to do what you've got to do. So that's the face done. Do I look a bit more put together now, guys? I feel like I do. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and use their bronzer over the top. I might even bring out the blush today. I think I will. I think it's a blush kind of day. So with this product as well, a lot, a little goes a long way. Now I'm bronzed, glowy, and if I do say so myself, look on point. What was I gonna do? You're gonna do, put a hair here and I can't find it. Um, blush. I'm gonna use. I've got a hair, guys. I'm gonna use the blush by Primark on just this resolution, resolution brush. Just dab it in. Right, so. And then I'm going to take a different brush to blend it in. Because we're going out and it's a special occasion, I'm going out with the iconic London highlight. I feel like highlight is becoming less and less. The only thing I find with this iconic London is I always put far too much on. And I don't know if it looks greasy or natural. Are we going with it, guys? So I normally just rub this in with my fingers onto my cheekbones. So I start off with the nose. See, under the eyebrows, I feel like it doesn't matter how glowy it is because you want it glowy there. See, I feel like it looks like I've got a sweaty upper lip. And then just blend this in. Like so. Just blend it in into the cheeks. Get that glow. like a natural glow can you see that just looks okay today it doesn't look like i've patted it on i do just want to go over here to match the bottom and then all together so that's one side done let's do this side
glowy highlight done. Just a bit more. So that's my face done. So I'm just gonna spray this with my Urban Decay setting spray. I always like to do the face first to set. Let that dry. So guys, what are your plans for the weekend? Like, I'm actually so excited to just get out, see all the family, get boozy. Not bougie, boozy. I feel like this is a new word that's become into my vocabulary. Vocabulary. I can't say it. You know what I mean? Um, and I love the word bougie now. I think it's ever since. Ellie Darby was talking about it because I'm obsessed with Ellie Darby. I think she's amazing. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm using the Freedom one. This is actually discontinued, but I'm using it till it runs out. Look at it, it's getting destroyed. And I go on this with a liner brush. Little tip, if you want to get that oh, oh, the triangle look, then I recommend a liner brush as it properly defines the brow, see? Defined on fleek brow. So this brow always goes perfect. This brow never matches. But like they say, brows are sisters and not twins. close up to be this time. I just want to fill it in a little bit more. Probably where I go wrong. Okay, they actually look pretty decent. And then I'm going to go back in with this and spray my brows. Let's go there. Voila, makes them look a bit darker as well. But I actually think this tone of brown really matches my hair, even though my hair's wet. Like, yeah. Great blonde and brown streaks. So now is for the decisions on the eyes. I think I've got a sort of eye guys here. Um. Do I go all out or do we go natural? So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids using the P. Louise base. And I use this in Rumour 02. And this just helps your eyeshadow stay in place. I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit on my finger and just prime my eyelids. So that's that primed. I'm also just going to quickly fix what's going on here because there we are. Fix two. is on the lips. Right. 
And then I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Dorm to Run palette. And I'm thinking of using these lighter colours. So Breakaway, Stranded, Blaze, Weekender. I may use a bit of Reef and a little bit of glitter one maybe so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to start off by using breakaway and just popping that all over the lid like so so it's a white tea color just to prime it even more and give it that brightness And then in the crease, I'm going to use reef, I think. Tiny bit of reef in the crease. Darken that like so. Any of you out there with hooded hooded eyelids, I feel your pain. I hate them. They annoy me so much, like you can't see your eyeshadow I feel like I need a bit more on this side in the crease I'm feeling that guys I'm new feeling that and then I'm gonna go ahead and use stranded all over the lid here comes Nala. What are you doing? What are you up to, little girl? And then I'm just gonna pop this on the lid to jazz it up a bit. Like so. Ooh, I'm liking this. for the champagne look definitely working and then I'm gonna also take that champagne colour underneath the eyes like so got the glowy look eyes. Then obviously I'm going to line my lashes. I've got lashes on so I don't really need to do anything with them. But I'm just going to use this Freedom Mirror. I'm using e.l.f. eyeliner on my normal. I'm just going to wing it out, you know? Like so, I'm feeling a little dainty wing. Oh my god, I was going to dip it in there, guys. Can you imagine? One done. And I can never get my eyeliner matching either. But we're gonna try. 
hopefully the wing gods are on my side today. That's my eyeliner done. I actually think I look a bit bougie. I'm not gonna do my lipstick until later on because I'm not going out just yet and I don't want it to like smudge. Um, but I am going to put some mascara up here on my bottom lashes. And this one is actually Primark. I'm just gonna put some on the bottom of the lash. Does anyone else pull a face when they put it on mascara? Like, I always go. Oh, cool. I'm gonna let Nana out after this. I'm debating where to put. No, I was going to put some of this on my lash, but I'm not going to. And then I'm just going to take a spoolie and brush my lashes. So they look on point. And that's my makeup done. So I'm just going to put you on a time lapse while I dry my hair and yeah, I'm just going to put you on a time lapse guys. Look how good my makeup looks if I do say so myself. In this lighting, I look like on think, on point. Um, but yeah, I'm going to dry my hair. And then the last product I put in my hair is the Frizz Ease by John Frieda. Like I've got hardly any of this left, so I need to get some more. But I use this every time I wash my hair because I have, I don't know if you can tell, but super frizzy hair. And this just helps it to calm down. Literally you need the tiniest bit on your hand rub it into your hands and then I always start underneath to get the majority off underneath because if you put it directly on top of your hair it will make it look a bit greasy I find and then I like to go in on the ends and then I work my way up so my fringe so I always do this before I like straighten it, curl it, whatever I'm gonna do, because it just is, my hair is hard to handle guys. So, and then I'll just put a little bit on here and just run it through my hair basically. Um, yeah. So it's not so frizzy. And then I also just, you know, brush it through. Like so. Now I'm debating whether to straighten, curl, a bit of both. Because I normally straighten my hair when my hair extensions are in. Or do I do it after? Decisions. 
So what I'm gonna do is put my hair extensions in first. Um, so what I do is get a grippy clip, part in my hair using my fingers where I want them to go. Um, and then I always start with like the threes, then the fours, and then the twos, if that makes sense, if you have air extensions. Um, yeah, so I'll start with the threes normally. They look like this, three clips, and I literally just pop them in where I parted my hair. So there we go, the length is back guys, boo boo. And then I do that all over my head. So I've just turned my straighteners on. I'm gonna straighten my hair now. They're in, I don't know if you can see. Excuse my PJs, but they're in. We've got some thickness, we've got a bit more length. And I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten them off camera because I feel like if I straighten them on camera, then this video is gonna be hella long, guys. And I don't think you'll find me straightening my hair that interesting. Using the GHD standard ghd to straighten them and so little update i'm thinking of cutting my extensions because i feel i haven't worn them in ages to be fair but i feel like my hair has grown so much so let me just show you where my hair is at so the length of my hair is here this is pretty much my hair here and the extensions are about two inches longer. So I'm thinking just cutting this much off so it gives my hair thickness rather than length. And because I've had them so long, they look a bit matty at the bottom. So that's the update. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because then I feel like I'd wear my extensions a lot more. And yeah, see you when they're shorter. See you on the other side hopefully this goes well guys so this is what it looks like and i actually love it it looks like i've had you know that chop cut so i've always wanted that where it's like all straight all the way around but my hair isn't able to do that so my extensions can do it for me and i love it so yeah i'm gonna get ready now and i'll see you in a bit so i just thought i'd show you what i'm wearing today so I'm wearing these little cute shoes and they've got a little heel, like so. And then I'm wearing this little dress from In The Style. Um, I think it's part of the Lorna Lux range. And I'll link it down below. And I love this outfit. And yeah, this is what I'm wearing. So guys, we made it to West Western, which is it? Super Western. And we've got our hats on. And Charlie is fluffing. And we're going to get drunk. We've got strawberry daffodils going on. Charlie's got corn scar. We're at separate tables. And we have corn star for a corn star. I didn't know. I didn't know about. And we're just going to order food now. This is Charlotte. Move soon. You, you, you Charlotte, say hello. It's your birthday. We've got to do pictures. Pass it on to Charlotte. Send them to us. Next time, someone's got to do Smile. I am Deborah Pete. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you, Charlotte. Charlotte, let me see. <laughs> Happy birthday! One, two, three! 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Charlotte. Happy birthday to you. Brendan, hello. <laughs> Georgina. Paulson. Charlie. Go on. <laughs> so I just wanted to come on this morning. It's the next day and end the vlog because last night obviously I was a bit drunk and we didn't end the vlog there. But all in all, it was a very lovely evening and we had a lot of fun. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.